Hello, my name is Zoe Harkham and I'm author of The Harkham Diet. This is a podcast on motivation tips and I really hope that you can take this with you wherever you're out at work or play and really stick to your healthy eating intentions. Now the three key tips that I've got for you to help you stick to your healthy eating intentions are these. Number one, tomorrow never comes. We continuously commit to starting our healthy eating plan tomorrow. I don't want to call it a diet because it is a commitment to eating healthy food for the rest of your life. And we continually say we will do that tomorrow. Now it's a cliche that tomorrow never comes, but cliches are true. That's why they're called cliches. And tomorrow really does never come. And every day that you sit there and say, I'll start my healthy eating plan tomorrow is another day when you're living as a fat, sick you and another day when you're not getting on with your life and not being the healthy, slim person that you know you want to be. So you have to start today Tomorrow really does not come. Today is the day that you commit to eating only healthy food, real food, as nature intends you to eat it. And in so doing, you will be nourishing your body, nurturing it in a way that you perhaps have not done previously or certainly not done for a long period of time. And you cannot imagine how good you are going to start feeling, not just heading towards your natural weight, but starting to feel healthy from the very first day that you decide to do this. So you have to decide to do this today. In fact, to be healthy and slim for the rest of your life, all you have to do is to eat well today. Don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow never comes. Just worry about today. And when it gets tough, as it does in the early stages, you don't just worry about today, you worry about the next hour. If it gets really tough, you worry about the next minute. That's all you need to do. Just the next minute, the next hour, today, eat healthily and you will eat healthily for life that's how it works living in the now so that's the first tip tomorrow never comes start today the second tip for those of you who've read the book stop counting calories and start losing weight or why do you overeat when all you want is to be slim you'll be very familiar with the three conditions that cause food cravings that have caused you to be overweight and feeling really quite ill with a number of really quite unpleasant symptoms physical emotional and mental mind symptoms and those three conditions get worse by the day they don't get better Candida, the yeast inside all of us, crying out to be fed. Every day that you feed it with refined carbohydrates, sugary food, yeasty foods, bready foods, vinegary foods, blue cheese, every day you feed it, it gets worse. And then the next day, it's even harder to resist because it's crying out even stronger to be fed. Food intolerance is about eating the same thing too much and too often. If you carry on eating too much of it and too often, it just continues to get worse. And again, the most common food intolerances are to floury foods and sugary foods. That's the biscuits, the cakes, the pasta, the pizza, the beer, the cereal, the cereal bars, the things that no doubt you are craving on a daily, if not an hourly basis. Those cravings will get worse every day that you feed your wheat and sugar addictions. And of course, hyperglycemia, your blood sugar being out of balance continuously, swinging you from energy highs to energy lows, to say nothing of the danger that you're putting yourself in with regard to things like type 2 diabetes and serious illness. Um, Hyperglycemia is so serious and the longer you continue to throw refined carbohydrates and processed foods into your sensitive, delicate body, the worse you are going to make that condition. So motivation tip number two, you have to start attacking these conditions because they will be even worse tomorrow if you don't start today. Now the final tip also builds on this theme And it's basically saying, you have to do this sometimes, so why would you not do it now? Unless you plan to live the rest of your life feeling, I'm going to be blunt here, fat and sick, suffering really unpleasant ailments that you could easily overcome, unless that's what you want to sign up to, you have to do something about this. So why would you want to delay it anymore? What is the point? of starting the rest of your life in a week's time or a month's time or a year's time when you could be starting it now. You have to do this sometime, so do it now. 
In one of our Diet and Health Today magazines in the club, we produce an e-zine every two weeks. And one of the most powerful ones was when I wrote down on two pieces of paper and I invited the club members to sign one of the pieces of paper. And one piece of paper says, I'm going to stay fat and stick, sick. I'm going to stay addicted to food. I'm going to continue to suffer irritable bowel syndrome and bloating and cravings and feeling foggy and having headaches and having binges and carbohydrates, stupor hangovers and all of the rest of it. I'm going to stay fat and sick for the rest of my life. And of course, the other piece of paper says, I know I'm an addict. I know what I have to overdo to overcome food addiction, and I'm not going to delay it by one more day. I'm going to tackle it today. I'm going to start getting healthier from today. I no longer want to suffer all these ailments. I want to be working towards my natural weight. I'm going to start feeling better from the first day that I start putting real food and only real food into my body. Now, there can only be one piece of paper that you sign, so why delay signing it? I know that you want that refined carbohydrate stuff today. I know I've been there, but don't put it in your body today and it's even easier to resist tomorrow. So all of this is about saying you have to start healthy eating today. Don't delay it one more day. The rest of your life starts now. You've got the toolkit to do it. You know why you've craved food in the past. You know how to stop those cravings. So just do it. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to Diet and Health Today, a podcast by Zoe Harkin. For show notes, please visit www.dietandhealthtoday.com. And for more information about Zoe and her work, please visit www.zoeharkin.com www.theharkomdiet.com Thanks for listening to this episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you back soon.